Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about risk management maturity. How can you tell a mature organization from a less mature organization when it comes to risk management? And to me, again, this is my personal opinion, but to me, risk management maturity is really about two things. Number one, risk management is about changing how the company operates, changing how the company operates with risks in mind how the business, the business units, the executives, the senior managers, the uh, line employees, the supervisors, how they make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, how they structure their business processes, how they carry out their activities. If such activities, if such decisions are done with risks in mind, then it is a good sign of a mature risk organization, mature from a risk management uh, perspective. And that's number one, whether the organization does its business activities, carries on its business activities and makes decisions with risks in mind. That's number one. And number two is how people within the organization think about uncertainty and risk. Are they scared, ignorant or um, they're composed and uh, passionate? and respectful of uh, uncertainty when making those decisions, when performing those business business activities. So those two things, in my mind, uh, what really separates a mature organization in terms of risk management from a less, uh, less mature. As you can see, I have not mentioned the risk management framework documents or the registers or the risk reports or risk assessment workshops, um, because all of those activities uh, um, are visible but really have nothing to do with risk management uh, risk management maturity. The company can do all of the above and still not be considered a mature organization. So risk maturity in my mind is really about two things whether the company thinks about risks when making decisions or performing business activities and how do employees of that company um, sort of deal with uncertainty in their day-to-day -day activities. Are they respectful of the uncertainty? Do they take it into consideration? Now, saying that, um, it sounds simple enough, but the reality is, uh, because you may think, well, you know, all senior executives, all managers, um, most supervisors, they're educated enough, they're trained enough to see risks when they approach and consider and think about them when making decisions. Well, the reality is slightly different. Uh, our brain is designed, sort of, is built in a way that uh, most of the time we're actually ignoring risks unless somebody helps us see them. And because everybody looks through the sort of the, uh, at the world through the lens of his own experience, that means that most people are very cognizant and very clearly thinking about a particular type of risk or a very narrow view of a particular risks on the project or in the business plan or, or the budget or the investment decision. And they're pretty blind to all the other risks that are sort of sitting outside of their spectrum. And, and that cognitive bias is called professional deformation. Basically means that we can only clearly see something that is familiar to us. And anything new, unknown or just outside of our area of expertise will be somewhat hidden, like in the fog. And we need somebody to help us uncover that information, uncover those risks. So when I say uh, risk maturity is, is about integrating uh, and seeing whether the business performs its activities and makes its decision with risks in mind, uh, that implies automatically that it has to be structured, formalized and a systematic process. Because just by saying that we have highly educated, very experienced employees who surely should be thinking about risks, that actually doesn't mean much. They probably aren't. They're thinking of some risks and they're missing a lot of other information. Uh, so unless the process of thinking about risks in different business activities and different decisions is structured, systematic and formalized, there is a good chance most of the risks will be continue, will continue to be to be ignored. So that's my take on risk management maturity. I'm here. I'm happy to hear your thoughts. Please write underneath this video. Um, do subscribe to the Risk Academy channel on YouTube for more videos like that. For now, thank you and goodbye.